In this movie, we're going to look at a new feature that was introduced with StarDraw Design 7.3, and that is the ability to import from an equipment list. The purpose of this feature is to make it quicker and easier to add large amounts of data into your project. It makes it more flexible to enter that data because it's done through a spreadsheet. So you can either do this in the office or out in the field simply by adding values into the cells in a spreadsheet. And it also means that you can add products into an existing project, or you can even build a new project from scratch directly from a product list in a spreadsheet. It's very quick, it's very easy, and this is how it works. So here we are in StarDraw Design 7.3, looking at a project that contains a number of drawings. And if we go to the dashboard and choose the products view, this shows all of the products in the project along with all of their attribute values, many of which have already been set. Some, notably, have not. For example, IP address. I might not know these values until the system has been commissioned and I'm on site and I can actually see those values. So the first step is to export the equipment list. We'll give it a name, sample project equipment list .xls because it's a spreadsheet and I'm just going to put this on my desktop. When we open up the equipment list, this is what we see. So, the first column shows the GUID, that's the globally unique ID for any particular product instance. You should never ever do anything with this column. Never copy the values, never change the values. This could lead to problems. In the other columns we have manufacturer model number and description, always the way that we identify products, and then we have a column for each attribute. So I can set some attribute values and using Excel functionality it makes it very easy, for example, just to fill down those values now that we see we have unique attribute values throughout. Obviously, this is not how you would set the IP addresses in the project. But let us save this equipment list, close it, go back to StarDraw Design 7.3, and then choose File, Import, and then we choose Equipment List from the File Type dropdown. Choose that list and click on Open. The dialog that then appears allows us to confirm the various changes for all of the products that have been modified. So this shows an old value and a new value. We'll simply click on OK to confirm this and now you can see that all of those attribute values have been populated within the project. It really is as simple as that. We can also use this functionality to add new attributes into the project. To do this, set a new attribute name and then populate the values. In this case, I'm going to insert a column, set the attribute name, let's say it's installer, and let's say that Joe installed all of these products while Bill installed all of the rest. Again, save the equipment list Go back to Design 7, import the equipment list, and this now shows the new attribute installer, which had no prior value and now has some new values, Joe and Bill. Click on OK, and then these are inserted at the end of the product listing. Another thing we can do is add and delete products. To delete products, simply delete the rows that they're in. But to add products, first we select examples of the product that we want to add into the project. Simply copy the manufacturer, model number, and description fields and add them at the bottom of the equipment list. Remember, and this is very important, do not copy the GUID. The GUID column should be left blank for any new products that you are adding into your project. Again, we can save this equipment list, return to Design 7, import the equipment list, 
and in this case the confirmation dialog shows these new products that we are adding into the project. Click on OK. If we scroll down to the bottom of the product listing, now we can see those new products have been added into the project and then we can do things like add them into whatever drawings we need. So by importing an equipment list it's easy to add values to products and it's easy to add products into projects. Thank you for watching.